All right. Well, my name is Ali Pete. I am a third year psychiatry resident doing the integrative medicine track. And today um, I'm going to talk about the use of SAMe for the treatment of depression. So SAMe, uh, full name S adenosyl methionine, or you might see um, numerous variants of that, but SAMe for short. It is one of the most studied natural therapies for the treatment of depression and has been utilized for uh, the treatment of psychiatric and medical conditions for over 30 years. So I wanted to um, take the opportunity to, to learn more about this uh, treatment that's been around for quite some time. So um, oh, I also want to mention that um, CME, it's a, it's a chemical that's found naturally in the body, but it's also available as a supplement. It is a major methyl donor in the body and it's involved in greater than 100 reactions. So it plays a role in um, many important functions of the body. So it's important to have adequate amounts. Uh, SAMe is produced by the body from methionine, which is an amino acid obtained through food and ATP. Folate and B12 are required for the synthesis of SAMe in the body, thus deficiencies of these vitamins may account for decreased levels of SAMe, but that's a whole nother topic. Um, and uh, SAMe, it does a lot of things, but today we're most interested in the fact that it facilitates the synthesis of neurotransmitters, including dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin, which as we know, all play a role in um, depression and mood. So here is, um, uh, the, the mechanism uh, of SAMe, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but here's SAMe right here. We can supplement it with diet. We can't get SAMe directly from food sources, but food sources does bring in methionine, which can create SAMe, and then SAMe goes on to do a lot of other things with this very important methyl group right here. Um, so there have been um, abnormal levels of SAMe in the body reported in various groups of individuals and disease states. Um, SAMe is highest in concentration uh, in childhood and it decreases with age. SAMe, SAMe has been studied primarily for depression and osteoarthritis and liver disease. And this was just a fun fact that I found interesting. Um, the way that researchers started to pay attention to SAMe was it was found that um, uh, individuals had low levels of SAMe in liver disease and depression. So that prompted them to uh, investigate whether SAMe might be a helpful treatment for these conditions. And participants um, in the depression studies who had osteoarthritis said that their symptoms of uh, joint pain associated with osteoarthritis improved with the CME. So that's where we realized that osteoarthritis could be um, a benefited as well. So there are more than 50 clinical trials, including randomized controlled trials, um, evaluating the treatment of depression with SAMe, and many showed evidence of beneficial effects as both a monotherapy and as an adjunct of treatment with alternative antidepressants. Um, there's, like I said, a lot of research, and to try to summarize it for a 10-minute presentation is difficult, but um, in general, SAMe is a viable treatment in major depressive disorder, and that's, um, you know, two, uh, 2017 study from the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry reviewed these studies and um, made that determination most frequently used um, measure of efficacy to, um, for these outcomes was the Hamilton Depression Rating Scale. Uh, there was also a 2016 Cochrane review that showed similar results. It in involved um, eight different trials and it compared them, um, SAMe alone, antidepressants alone, SAMe with antidepressants and compared it to placebo. 
the results suggest that SAMe as a monotherapy for depression is no more effective than the placebo. And there was no statistically significant difference between SAMe, imipramine, and escitalopram when used alone. Uh, however, SAMe was superior to placebo when used in combination with SSRI. So many of these studies that have just discussed um, or reviewed um, have limitations, including small numbers of participants, the diagnostic criteria was inconsistent. Um, some patients had to have diagnosis of MDD, some didn't. Uh, the treatment periods were short and there was a variety of other potential issues. So um, that does make it more difficult to draw conclusive results, although um, I mean, the results are promising and encouraging. So how does SAMe work for depression? The exact mechanism is yet to be confirmed, but we suspect it's related to increased brain levels of serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine um, in, the, uh, in the brain. We found that depressed patients have lower SAMe levels in serum and CSF compared to healthy controls, and the SAMe administration crosses the blood-brain barrier and increases CSF levels. Other possibilities for why this works include maybe it increases the density of the receptors that the neurotransmitters act on, also altering the cell membrane that uh, can also help improve the efficiency of the receptors. So though some of the evidence is not quite conclusive, there's still many benefits to consider, or many reasons to consider SAMe for the treatment of depression. First of all, it does not cause weight gain, sexual dysfunction, sedation, or cognitive interference. It also may work faster than SSRIs uh, by a couple weeks, potentially. It is well tolerated in geriatric patients and patients with liver dysfunction. And it might be helpful for patients who do not have a good response to prescription antidepressants. And it also might be helpful for um, individuals with depression who also have certain comorbid medical conditions. And some of those comorbid medical conditions are listed here. Um, so of all the various conditions that SAMI might benefit, the, uh, we have the most evidence to support the use of osteo or SAMI for osteoarthritis. So I wanted to make sure I touched on that for a moment. There have been a lot of trials that show that SAMI is superior to placebo and comparable to NSAIDs for decreasing the symptoms associated with NSAIDs, and it is better tolerated than NSAIDs. So it is potentially a really great option for patients with osteoarthritis. Um, and as I mentioned, benefit is it's uh, associated with fewer side effects than NSAIDs. One problem, though, is the use of SAMe for osteoarthritis can take twice as long to start working compared to using NSAIDs. And the uh, reason why SAMe might be effective for osteoarthritis is that it actually has analgesic and anti-inflammatory effects and can help um, increase cartilage growth and repair. SAMI is generally well tolerated, which is one of the great things about it that I mentioned earlier. There are some potential side effects, nausea being the most common, anxiety and insomnia are also um, important to pay attention to. These are typically mild and transient. The Few safety concerns associated with SAMe. Uh, for individuals with bipolar disorder, SAMe can induce mania. So uh, be, there should be caution if starting SAMe in a patient, especially if they're not already on a mood stabilizer. For pregnancy and breastfeeding, there has not been enough research to, um, to really provide any clear recommendations. So routine, routine use is not recommended at this time. 
SAMI overall doesn't have very many drug interactions, but some to pay attention to is serotonin syndrome. SAMI, it works, one of the things that it does is it increases serotonin. And so like with any serotonergic medications or treatments, you have to be careful about um, uh, the potential for serotonin syndrome. Also levodopa, SAMe methylates levodopa, making it possibly less effective, which could theoretically worsen Parkinsonian symptoms. However, I theoretically underlined because we haven't actually um, have any evidence in humans to support that or haven't done that research. So when prescribing SAMe for depression, the typical dosage is 400 to 1600 milligrams of SAMe per day in divided doses. You begin with a lower dose to make sure they tolerate it well, 200 milligrams BID for three to five days. And then you can increase by 200 milligrams every three days until you reach the desired dose, which is the maximum dose is typically 1600 milligrams. So there has been some research recently um, using 3200 milligrams. If a patient is greater than 65 years old, they may experience benefit from just 400 to 800 milligrams. And some notice improvement with SAMe as soon as three to five days, but typically full effects may take several weeks to develop. So when taking or recommending SAMe, make sure it is provided in blister packs because SAMe can be rapidly oxidized when exposed to air, so they need to be individually wrapped. SAMe is best if taken on an empty stomach, typically 30 to 60 minutes before a meal or two hours after a meal. However, if there is some intolerable nausea, it could be alleviated by having a small snack right before taking the SAMe. Because SAMe is activating, you want to avoid dosing close to bedtime to avoid insomnia. So in summary, some of the pros and cons of using SAMe for the treatment of depression. So the pros, there's a favorable side effect profile compared to prescription antidepressants. In particular, uh, no weight gain or sexual dysfunction, which are um, you know, very common, two very common complaints that people have about prescription antidepressants. There's a faster onset of action it may be beneficial for patients who have depression and certain comorbid medical conditions, and it's better tolerated in geriatric patients and patients with liver dysfunction. Some not as ideal things about SAMe is that it may exacerbate comorbid anxiety or insomnia, and unfortunately those are two things that are commonly seen in patients with depression. It's not as rigorously tested, so, um, we just have to be more careful that, you know, the relative the eff efficacy cannot be guaranteed. And SAMe is not covered by insurance, so cost may be prohibitive. In summary, um, overall, there is encouraging evidence of the safety and efficacy of SAMe for the treatment of depression, but it's not conclusive. Additional research is needed to strengthen the evidence. Um, SAMe has found to be effective or possibly effective for monotherapy and also adjunctive treatment with um, antidepressants. And the strongest evidence is for the effectiveness of SAMe when combined with an antidepressant. And, and SAMe might be helpful in patients who have depression and don't want to take a medication. They prefer a supplement or patients who have comorbid medical conditions, specifically osteoarthritis, patients who do not tolerate prescription antidepressants well, but want to try something for their depression, and patients who have had no or partial response to prescription antidepressants. And those are my references. <laughs>